Hi friends, so in this new video I will show you the method used to compare between artifices and CST results in uh, polar coordinates. Okay, so this method use uh, it's uh, the same for comparison between CST and ADS or ADS and FICO or FICO and artifices or between any electromagnetic software. Okay, so in this example I will work in uh, a rectangular uh, antenna, single antenna, okay, of rectangular radiation element with partial ground plane, just an example of antenna, okay, I take this example, so here uh, I go to plot uh, my radiation polar coordinates, okay, so for example, I will work at, uh, in comparison between gain or directivity or electric file or each file so it's the same for any parameter okay so i go to results i go to create file file reports and i go to radiation pattern to plot my parameter in polar coordinates okay so here i can choose electric file gain directivity as you like so i choose for this example the gain okay gain total gain in uh, decibel unity okay so for uh, families here i choose fee i choose angle for example zero or five or three or uh, eight or as you as you like so for example i choose uh, 90 degree okay 90 degree in frequency 5 gigahertz so when you report so here I have my gain in uh, polar coordinates for 5 gigahertz and phi equal 90 degrees. Okay, so I will export this result in uh, the desktop. Okay, export and I save it in the, de in the desktop as uh, txt format files. Okay, choose txt format files. So here, polar gain in HFCs, okay, I renowned my file as polar gain in HFCs, okay, so this for HFCs, I go to the same example in CST, so I have the same antenna with partial ground plane, okay, so this is my antenna, I go to the far file here, so this is the far file, I have my far file in polar coordinates, okay, so here I can choose Directivity gain a triple a or is it gain or file the each file as you like okay so for us we work for gain and fee equal 90 degree okay fee equal 90 degree this is for 90 degree i can show you that for zero degree is different okay i changed fee zero degree so this is for zero degree so for us we work for 90 degrees so i will write 90 degree so this is my gain in polar coordinates for fee equal 90 degrees. So I will save it in the desktop. I go directly to post processing and I plot data as key. Okay, so in the desktop, I will name it as uh, polar polar gain csd okay so in txt file form okay save it and i go to shake my files so here i have polar gain hfc and polar gain csd so i shake my file to click in my file so i have oh, first column for theta degree okay first column for theta degree and the second column for gain in total gain in this event okay i have two columns one for theta in degree and the second for gain in this event so this for artifices for cst also i have the first axis theta in degree okay the first axis theta in degree the second axis for phi so we have here for phi equal 90 degree okay it's constant and we have our gain in this civil okay the third axis is the, uh, the gain in this civil and uh, we have other other parameters like phases and uh, 
accelerate the ratio and other parameters. Okay, so for us work just for theta and degree and the third axis gain in DCV. Okay, so I uh, close this and I go to my origin and I open it. I have origin 2090B. Okay, so open it. So here I go directly to one x mini aggregate. Okay. I can work with this table one x mini aggregate. Okay, click it and okay. So now I go to import my files polar gain in HVCs and CSD. So I go to data here. Okay, data imports from file and I choose the first line import wizard. Okay import wizard and I choose his data tape as ASK okay ASK and I go to import my file for example I choose the first case for game put it again in archivists at files okay this is my file and okay next and finish so here I have two axes one for theta in degree if the first and the second is for gain in this event. So here I will write theta. Okay, theta unity is degree. And here I will write ash FSS. Okay. Ash FSS. And the second axis is for gain. Okay. Gain. Unity is decibel, and here I will write HFSS. So this for HFSS. So as what I don't know, I go here, okay, and I click right, and I click add, okay, add other sheets here, okay, other sheets. So in the sheet, I will import the CST file okay so I go to data import from file import wizard okay the same thing data tab as ASK and I import my file in CST coordinates okay polar coordinates add files this is my file okay next and finish Okay, so here I have a lot of access. The first is for theta. So here theta, the unity is the gray command here C is the okay. The first axis is for angle and the third axis is for gain. Okay, gain unity is decibel here command. C is the okay. C is the so what I do now, I go here and I add other shit. Okay, add shit. Okay, shit. So here I need four columns. Four columns. So click right and insert. Click right and insert. I have four columns. Okay. So what I do now, I go to my polar gain IFC here. And I click in the gain in this event, okay. Axis gain, click right, copy all, copy all, okay. I copy the axis for gain and I go to sheet one and I passed it in the first column, okay. Pass it in first column, pass, okay. So I have gain in this event for archivists in the first column. I return to my polar gain in archivists and I copy my theta axis okay so copy all and i return to my sheet one and i go to b axis okay and i pass it so i have gain in decibel and i have theta degree it's, just, it's the same thing for cst i go to polar gain cst here i take my gain in decibel okay Click right, copy all, 
and I gave two sheets one. Okay, so C Y and I passed my colon for game for C S T. Okay, I return to my port again in C S T and I copy to X axis for theta angle. Okay, so click it and copy all. And I go to my sheet one and I passed it in the last column. Okay, so here I have four columns. The first one gain in hypothesis, the second for theta integrity, the third gain in CST, and the fourth is for theta integrity. So here we go to plot my gain and comparison between it, but you need to check your attention here okay i have x axis for gain and for y i have theta in y axis gain here y axis theta y axis so i need to change the gain here from y axis to x axis okay x axis so click right and go to properties okay properties and go to plot designation, okay, designation, and choose x axis, okay, x axis here. So apply, okay, so I can see that the y axis return to x axis, okay, so I have x axis, y axis, x axis, y axis. So now you must to check your attention, I have theta in y axis, okay, so select all and go to plot so i go to plot and i go to specialist okay specialist so here i have the first polar plot for theta in x axis and i have the second for theta in y axis and for us we work in theta in y axis okay so we, sh we choose this case okay y axis for theta so click it and we can say our gain comparison in polar coordinates between HFCS and CST. So now I can change figures, okay? So twice click into, for example, in the red color and I go to line. So here I choose, for example, dash and width I choose three and color I go here to single, okay? Not by point, not by plot, I choose single. And I choose, for example, blue color and apply. So apply, I can say that my curves are dependent between them. What I do, I go to group, okay, and edit mode, and I choose independent, okay, independent. And I return to line, and for example, here in steel, I choose solid, and for color, I choose uh, red color, and click apply. Okay, and I can say a comparison between HFCS and CST and polar coordinates, okay, in origin. Okay, so this is the result comparison. So I can use this method to compare between gain, between uh, directivity, between profile, between uh, any parameter in polar coordinates. Okay, so this method can we can use it for CST and HFCS, for CST and ADS, for HFCS and FICO, for FICO and ADS, so between all electromagnetic software, okay, comparison between all electromagnetic software. So, in the first video, I showed you how you can compile between Cartesian uh, coordinates, and in this video, I show you how you can compile between uh, polar coordinates in the next video, I will show you how do you can compare it between HFCS and CST in MATLAB. I have an easy method to compare between HFCS and CST, for example, for Cartesian coordinates. It is an easy method. I have an easy method. Okay, so we will find this method in the next video. Okay, so see you later.